Welcome everyone to the Forgotten Carnival's final alpha dev update. We've got plenty to show you. First things first, discarded sprint update screen inspired us to create our very own. You'll see a brief list of the new things included in the sprint here, which we'll go over shortly. We've also included screens that explain how each of the toys are used. This should help our testers understand the mechanics a bit more when, uh, before we're fully able to tutorialize the game. Just to refresh everyone on who's on the team, we have myself, Kat, Kevin, May, and Jack as our designers, Tristan and Belle as our programmers, and Milo, Lucas, Russ, Omar, and JJ as our incredible artists. I am beyond proud of what we've been able to accomplish this sprint. Good job, guys. One of the first things we'd like to show off is the first iteration of our tutorial level, courtesy of our level designer, Jack. These tutorial levels will be a great introduction for new players to our game systems and mechanics. Here in the main game, you'll notice some spooky music and some sound effects added to our build, courtesy of May. We've also made and hooked up several animations, including the player movement animations, idle animations for the toys, as well as the unlock toys movement and its ability animation. Just up ahead, we can see one of the newest additions already, the ticket toy. This little seal toy will, upon activation, dart off to the nearest ticket piece, leaving a trail of floating, bouncing balls for the player to follow. Here's our game's final toy type, the Jack in the Box toy. You can set one of these toys down as a trap that will stun monsters like this. These Jack in the Box toys gives players some really fun proactive gameplay. On the contrary, be ever vigilant for the monstrous version of the Jack in the Box toys. The toy's monster version is nearly identical to the many harmless boxes scattered throughout the level. That is, until it starts moving towards you. Be sure to run away from these disguised monsters or you'll be in for a lot of hurt. Functionality-wise, these monsters work a tad different than the other monsters. The Jack in the Box monsters use proximity as their only means of detecting the player. And that's a wrap for the Forgotten Carnival's Alpha 3 main content updates. There's been plenty of other additions, however, including fading out for the rooms, but the bug fixes, and more. As always, any and all feedback is super appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and playing.